Hello there. Given that you guys liked my last video on stats, I thought I'd do another one. Let's talk some more about skins. All 90 skins of 2018. First, the statistics of skins and new champions of 2018. We'll compare them to previous years, and take a look at the champion who obtained the highest number of skins in 2018. Have any guesses? Here are 10 champions to choose from. Leave a comment below, and let's see if you are correct. Professionals never second guess. We'll take a closer look on the skin popularity, and which skins were very successful at catching attention, and also the one most popular skin of the year. So let's get started. 2018 had a grand total of 90 skins and 3 new champions, all of which, of course, obtained a new skin upon their release. The 3 new champions were Kaisa, Pike, and Nico. To fully grasp where 2018 stands with skins and champions, let's take a look at the previous years. And for a clearer perspective, do keep in mind that Riot has made it clear on many occasions that skin production is not usually excessively or at all connected to other parts of development. Thus, make of this data what you will. 2017 unveiled 5 champions and 79 new skins. 2016, 6 champions and 83 skins. 2015, 5 champions and 101 skins. 2014, 6 and 64. And so on. As we can see, 2018 had a reasonable number of skins compared to previous years, but had the lowest number of released champions. 2018 didn't have a very tangible template on skin releases. The month with most skins of 2018 is November, with a grand total of 19 skins. That's nearly one skin per workday of the month. Meanwhile, January only had two. Here are the statistics for the other months of 2018. November had the most, and it covered the following skin lines. Mind you, looking at this now and recalling my video on the Pajama Guardians, I don't think it was even necessary to release anything Star Guardian related at this time. Even without those skins, November would still have the highest number of skins in the year, so it's doubtful anyone could claim we haven't gotten enough skins for that time period. Now let's talk about the champion who received the most love this year and see if you guessed correctly. And you are indeed correct if you assumed that most of that champion's skins were released in November. Whilst most skins this year were awarded only one per champion, here are the champions who received a total of two skins this year. Are you the hunter? There is no antidote for me. What doesn't kill you just isn't finished yet. The heart is the strongest muscle. Your bidding, Death is like the wind, always by my side. The guilty will know agony. The rivers will run red. Every adventure is better with a friend. <laughs> you cannot know strength until you are broken. My heart and sword, always for Demacia. And the winner, as you may have guessed it since she didn't appear on this list, who has left a mark on 2018, just as those peasants left a mark on her name when the void snatched her away, is... Kaisa. She is the only champion of 2018 to receive three skins, which include Bullet Angel, KDA, and Prestige KDA skin. Flashes of light scorch the sky. My parents may frighten you. But, but make, make no, no mistake, mistake. I'm, I'm on your side, and we fight to the bitter end. With so many cards on the table, let's talk about popularity. Now, do note that popularity is very difficult to pinpoint without official data. I reached out to Riot in a blind shot attempt to obtain some of this information, and the response I received was that they, quote, don't have that data just sitting around waiting to be used, end quote. Now, I do suspect it's quite easy for Riot to establish which skin is the most purchased or played one, or at least narrow it to top 10 skins, as tracking of such data would be a wise business move, but I can understand why they wouldn't want to disclose this information. Perhaps they will at one point in time, but we won't dwell too much on that. Instead, I've done some digging, and through the combination of data on internet searches, existing content on each skin of 2018, and several other factors, I've come to some interesting conclusions. Do note that this data is vague, since there is no clear formula to establish the popularity without strict official data. Skins get released at different times and perform differently at different times. 
but I have tried my best to combine it in the most accurate way to be presented to you, through a bit of speculation, time compensation and a prayer. So let's begin. For one, any Hextech skin is bound to capture quite a bit of attention, as all Hextech skins showed a higher popularity rate than most standard skins. I also found that whilst the Coven skins were a great success, Solar Eclipse Leona was more popular than Lunar Eclipse Leona. I say that's fairly logical, since Solar was usually the first that came to mind, and was talked about the most for Leona, and was the main way people would look up that skin. Pajama Guardians didn't stir that much attention, no surprise there, but whilst all of them were on the same level of interest, Pajama Guardian Lulu was the least talked about out of all of them. Same can be said for the Odyssey skin line, where Malphite and Ziggs were the least popular of the Odyssey skins. Personally, the entire Odyssey event for me was a bit unfinished, or rather unpolished, for lack of a better term, and the access to all the skins during the event somehow made them less unique for me, especially after being able to spam the effects constantly. It made them less interesting afterwards. Anyways, moving on. Out of the SSG skins, Zaya was the most popular one, and the least popular was J4, Javan 4, however you like it. Regardless of how this skin title was phrased, it always yielded the lowest results out of the five SSG skins. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why haven't you talked about the KDA skins? Because I saved the best for last, of course. KDA was undoubtedly the most popular skin line of 2018, with the KDA music video amassing over 150 million views in three plus months after its release. Granted, it was so popular because most who saw it thought it was just a K-pop song and didn't know much about Link, but I tip my hat to Riot as it was a very successful way to promote the skins and the game. What's more interesting, one KDA skin stood out far above the rest, and that skin is ready for this? Let's go. KDA Akali. Whilst other skins amassed up to 10,000 monthly searches, among other solid results, and other KDA skins amassed up to 100,000, KDA Akali has climbed to the area of several hundreds of thousands of monthly searches, up to a million probably. And that, without a doubt, makes her the most popular skin of 2018, according to public data. I was honestly a little surprised. I initially thought Godstaff Jax or KDA Ari would snatch the spot, but Akali has taken the crown. And she indeed is the goddess with the blade. My personal speculation for this result could be because of the KDA video and the fact that Ari and Akali were the two most interesting and searched after characters or performers. However, it's very difficult to analyze data this way and make it distinctive which searches focused on the skin and which were new viewers curious about the performer from the KDA group. That's why I've done my best to accumulate data which focused on a specific time period after each skin's announcement as of course it would be unfair to compare a skin from January 2018 to a skin in December 2018, as the January one would have a lot more time to build momentum. The same can be said for December 2018 skins. I have used partial data for them, as skins which were released in December, like Hextech Renekton for example, released on the 20th of December, wasn't really out long enough to gather attention, nor have any concise public data that could be clearly used yet. That's what's so interesting about KDA Akali. She gathered such high results in a very short period of time of two months after she was first announced. Regarding my own personal favorites, I've compiled a top 10 list of my favorite 2018 skins. Statistics be damned. And that list will be coming out very soon. I'll give you a little spoiler. If you've been watching my videos, you'll likely know that I'm a huge fan of Elementalist Lux. But despite Lux receiving two new skins this year, neither of those are in my top 10 favorites. Let me know what you think. Which champion would you like to see a skin for in the upcoming year? That's it for this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Filming.